the Avengers destroyed New York City to stop Loki. Now, we have been literally recapping, rewatching um a lot of the Avengers videos. Uh we're going on an entire like Avengers tour just trying to, you know, reminiscence, reminisce right on the nostalgia on the true marvel cinematic experience bro on the real mcu bro you know what they got now mcg you know what that stands for marvel cinematic goofies no mgu marvel goofy universe there we go shout out to blank boy that dude man he's always going crazy going out going crazy with the memes the edits commentary if you guys are watching this on youtube just know that i do live stream on kick there will be a link to the original video and my stream down below go check that out so loki pulls up to the party spawning in a fit and it got everybody running dang i didn't think it was that bad the police are coming after loki but he got them reevaluating their oh, yeah. life's decisions becoming cops these boys is upside down and they gotta go back home to their wives asking them why is domino's texting you kissy faces loki starts telling everybody to kneel before him but nobody's listening i've never seen a god with less street cred than him he be saying all his credentials just to but be disregarded and dropped all off the anyways. time he gets frustrated Yo. All the time, I am Loki. Get your ass out of here. Yo, why they always doing my man's wrong, bro? Loki is actually one of the like fan favorite villains, aka good guys, aka characters, aka we don't even know what he's trying to be, bro. But the Loki, the Loki uh show, this Disney Plus show was the only good one, I believe. Other than that, I don't think I saw any other ones. Dumb loud to get them to finally listen to him and kneel down. I guess my boy is having a power trip because he's around mere mortals because back on Asgard, he's a walking KD booster. Oh God. I am Loki, God of deception, trickery, and mischief. Yo. Son of Odin, part frost giant, prince of Asgard. Boy, I know your ass out of breath. Loki thought changing into his party city fit would have struck fear in all the hearts of the attendees, but Unk is standing on business. Um, so Loki Moon Knight? No, I, uh, I watched maybe like four or five episodes and then I dropped it. I don't know, I was kind of getting bored of the shows at that time. There was another show, bro. It wasn't just Loki, it was something else. Oh, the Hawkeye one I watched too. It was the Ronin or something or, or something like that. And then picked up Kate Bishop, whatever her name was. And then I kind of dropped that too after a while. That kind of got a little goofy too. She-Hulk, I did not watch that. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do that. Big Nemo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. He being the reasonable man he is decides the only appropriate response is to kill this man. But Captain America comes out of nowhere to save the day. Uh, yeah. And I want y'all to really hear me out because Captain America is one of my favorite superheroes of all time. Okay. Right? So it really hurts my heart to see him in this horrendous suit. Captain America one suit, tough. Age of Ultron suit, oh, hard. Tough. Winter Soldier, tough. fire. And my personal favorite, the Civil War suit, yeah. perfection. Yeah. So how'd they miss so bad <laughs> in this that? movie? This looked like the parody suit the soldiers had him wear in the first Avengers so they could clown him. Nick Fury set him up. Captain America just came out the ice. He handed it to him awesome. Yeah, bro, this what's hip nowadays, trust. I can't let you hurt my friend Gerald, Loki. We used to beat up black people together back in the good old days. The Soldier, a man out of his time. Do you even know the exclusive album? Yeah, I do. Chris Purple snapped. This is when Black Widow pulls up and luckily she didn't bring her big bag of two oh attacks, my God, she karate baddie. and pistols. Bitch saw Thanos pulling up with the Infinity Stones. Yo, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. We had Zephyr, you know what I'm saying, disrespecting Hawkeye to go by he useless. And now we got Blink Boy over here talking about how Black Widow only got two moves. Yo, 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 yo. I'm not taking the slander. I am not taking the disrespect, bro. They're only humans. What do you want them to do? They got to do something. And she bad too. Put that in the move list. Karate and pistols. <laughs> Bitch saw Thanos pulling up with the Infinity Stones and thought Taekwondo might be the answer. She pulled up with that chopper instead. Oh, yeah. Loki tries to catch her off guard, but he misses. And now due to an attack chopper, a god, and Captain America, this whole function has been ruined. The party promoter came outside looking like... Who the fuck let all these niggas in my fucking body? Captain America hits Loki with the shield and then a right. Loki starts looking at him like he just dirtied his G Fazos. Getting blocked, <laughs> hitting the shield away, and then knocking Captain America oh, to the shit. floor. Steve knows that Black Widow's up there looking, so he starts acting mad different, hitting them with a light-skinned stare. This the same man that was hitting on his dead girlfriend's niece. He oh. has no shame. He throws yeah, his shield, but he loses it as he gets knocked away. 
misses weave. the right. Weave. Oh damn! Weave again, gut that's punch, a good weave. but gets smacked away. This right here is a prime example. Yo, of how that was that a good one. weave. Let me go back. Yo, chat. If I tried that, my back would snap, bro. Throws his shield, but he loses it as he gets knocked away. Right here, misses weave. the right. Weave. Look, nah, there's no way, bro. Yo, I go like this. Hold back, gone. Weave again, gut punch, but gets smacked away. This right here is a prime example of how without that OPI shield, the super soldier would have been a super fry cook instead. Loki walks up to Cap and puts the staff right to his dome, but he does the villain cliche right before they're about to cross the finish line, deciding now is the time everyone needs to, to start know talking. Their whole life story. But Cap ain't trying to hear this monologue. Shut your brain, man. <laughs> Black Widow's unable to get a shot on Loki because they Bro. down there moving way too much as Loki throws his ass to the floor again. And this is when we get one of the best entrances in MCU history. It is awesome. Oh, yeah, that's Iron my man. man comes through blasting Loki. That's Super my man. Tudor's day. But I can't lie, I kind of feel bad because when Iron Man blasted him, Bro oh. fell right onto his back. Peter knows exactly how that feels. This would have been my last day as Spider-Man, I swear to God. Iron Man ups it on Loki, forcing him to make his drip disappear and surrender. It's over. Whoa, whoa. This man Loki can make on, Jamal, appear in thin air except for a W. He is trash. You know I had it, right? Yeah, I can tell from all the dirt on the suit. So the Avengers put the cuffs on Loki and they sent him to prison on S.H.I.E.L.D.'s helicarrier. Where of course he manages to escape in the most Looney Tunes Bruh. way possible. Loki said, I'm leaving, leaving here with some. Oh, yeah. Stabbing Agent Coulson in the chest and making sure he never secures 30 ah, seconds of screen time again. No. So at this point, the Avengers are all demotivated and depressed. What's so up, Luke? In order to get them to work together, Nick Fury whips out a deck of cards and tells them that this was in Agent Coulson's jacket when Loki murdered him. But bro was How is that? How is that my problem? Who told him to pull up, bro? After seeing what he did to uh, Thor. That's not my problem. That's his problem. He just a human. Tells them that this was in Agent good, Coulson's Trey? jacket when Loki murdered him. But bro was capping. Those cards were in Agent Coulson's locker. He took them out, put Kool-Aid powder on it, and got to gaslighting like, hey. <laughs> Guess he never did get you to sign them. So the Avengers suit up and go out into New York City to conduct as much property damage as possible mm -hmm. in the name of saving people. Yep. But while they were having a pity party, Loki managed to open up a portal letting his whole Shatari army through. And then goes to camp out at Stark Tower and it's his brother Thor who finds him first. Hey. The dynamic of these two is so toxic. Their relationship gets explained a lot more in Thor 2. So all of the seven people who saw that film, y'all know. Loki, <laughs> you're acting like Wait, a badass a little one. kid. You're 40. On Asgard, I'm about to fade you up, brother. And I cooked Captain America for his look, so I have to do the same to you, Thor. The glow up was crazy. A beard and a haircut is really like makeup for men. Loki jumps yeah, at Thor, blocks him in there, and Thor goes for a duck. But who was Loki swinging on? I like long hair Thor, mate. though. Thor then deflects Loki's blast. Their weapons collide, knocking the R and K off Stark Tower. Listen, I'm from New York City. I've survived the master splinters around every corner, being a Knicks fan and crackheads. You so lying? The possibility of dying to so Blink Boy, what's up, bro? I'm here too. I'm right, bro. I'm, bro. I show you. Bro, I'll show you where I'm at, bro. Come in. Show me the city. The R and K. I'll show you where I'm at right now. Listen, I'm, bro. I'm right, right there, chat. Right here. This building right there. That's me, bro. Pull up on me right now, bro. I'm right there, bro. That brown building. That's me, bro. From New York City. I've survived the master splinters around every corner being a knicks fan and crackheads so the possibility of dying to falling r kelly and w Docs. is sick work loki <laughs> weaves and smashes his head into the glass while clint and natasha are up top watching the fight just like damn thor getting cooked they decide to turn around the jet to help but as the cameraman pans back we see loki got thor in a noogie he throws thor away and hawkeye clearly signed his max contract with the stormtroopers because he misses every shot as loki just snipes them out the air the jet starts spiraling out of control and the funny part is captain america is in the back seat they got my boy back there shaking like a bag of skittles Without a wing, they of course go crashing down, naturally hitting as many buildings in the process yep. as possible. Yup, they go two nice billion dollars. Concrete. 
Luckily, the Avengers are okay, thank God, because that would have only left Hulk, Thor, and Iron Man to defeat Loki and his entire army. <laughs> that would have been over for us. The not least enough. intimidating supervillain of all time would have won. I'm sorry, I just can't take him serious. He'd be on top of the tower looking down at all of us, his prisoners, on some hear ye, hear ye. Thor tackles Loki and starts beating the daylights out of him. The shockwave from each punch is so OD that the cameraman can't even sit still, can't get the shot right. Thor being the good brother that he is, he of course doesn't want to actually kill Loki. Loki, stop this madness. You can't destroy New York City. Try a chopped cheese, it'll change your mind. Wait, you deadass? Chopped cheese really like that for real? Loki starts putting together an Oscar worthy performance, making Thor think he's had a change of heart. <laughs> Stabbing Thor right in the gut with a thumbtack, looking at his Yo. big bro like. How many times do we have to teach night, you this uh, lesson, King. old man? Loki catches him with this, I've changed, I want to be a good guy now, fake yeah. out at least once a week. Thor kicks him into the glass, picks him up, and slams him. Loki Ooh. knows he's about to get spanked, so he just makes a business decision to skedaddle out of there on one of the Shatari scooters Left to go staff, terrorize dummy. the rest of the city. So while Loki's on the loose causing straight mayhem, Captain America, Black Widow, and Hawkeye hop out their jet that crashed into this oh yeah we not seen tomorrow as scenery. At this point I don't even know Yo, what's that's left to right save, there, rocks too. and dust. So while everyone in New York City is running for their lives, the Avengers the look up to see that the- Chad, this is the Grand Central Station bro. That shit is right, right there bro, that way. I'm telling y'all bro. Portal's Come on. moving like a thought, opening even wider to let the rest of the Shatari army through. And I can't be the only one who noticed this, bro. Remember in Transformers Dark of the Moon, the Decepticon carrier? That shit looks exactly oh, like the copy Shatari and pasted carrier it. in this movie, and they function the same way. All I'm saying is the Avengers came out a year after Transformers <laughs> Dark of the Moon. <laughs> he copied my whole fucking flow! Tight shit! Word for shit. word, bar for bar! So the Avengers are doing an elite job of just spectating while the Shatari army is being unleashed, causing straight havoc. They're terrorizing the city, murdering millions while the Avengers watch, and then we see Loki coming through, blowing up every and anything. But the thing is, isn't his plan to rule this place? At this rate, what is there gonna be left to rule? Rubble? He moving exactly like the androids in DBZ. They murdered everybody and just went around blowing up shit for fun. We oh my god, that was good art. The and they're camping, <laughs> while New York City is one fallen building away from being what Wally predicted. Damn, Loki's wallin'. Who should we call? Nigga, we're the Avengers. And it's Clint of all people. Let's who destroy everything. Pain first, so they devise a plan to split up. So while Black Widow is giving Cap cover fire, Cap jumps off onto the bus, running away from missiles being shot right at his heels into a front flip and manages to stick the landing perfectly. While Steve is auditioning for Ninja Warrior, Black Widow continues <laughs> to shoot randomly at nothing, and Hawkeye continues to be the one to carry the Avengers. Thank you. Helping these people escape. From Thank you for putting respect. Oh my mans, bro. Thank you, man. I'm off the bus and look at Lil Bro's cut right here. He got Yo, a Taco, mohawk. welcome That's to the how stream. You know this shit was really filmed in 2012. Hawkeye then puts Little Bro down and goes over to help Natasha. Man, we could dead use somebody with like time powers or something to help us just go back and prevent all of this. And he's right there. Oh no, wait, did he become Doctor Strange yet? I don't think so. Damn, I actually don't remember the timeline. But his building is right there. Wait, even if he's not Sorcerer Supreme, there was the other bold shorty too. Yo, where's Spider-Man at, bro? What the fuck? Yeah, okay, good what luck the finding that. While they're holding off the Shatari army, we see Captain America turning on the jets to catch up to the police to get Yo, he's really and give them orders, too. but they not trying to hear none of it. Oh, I he was in surgery. Them. A random mm. man just jumped on my car in a Halloween costume and it's June. I saw niggas getting sturdy on 42nd Street, saved them, they was kinda hitting that hoe. In Macy's west of 34th Street, I counted at least nine bad bitches in there, need those. And there's crackheads trying to sneak on the 4 train, even in a fucking apocalypse, no free rides. But like I said, none of the cops know who this is, so they just looking at Cap like, Who are you? <laughs> Why should we take orders from you? So Cap turns around and is like, all right, let me show y'all real quick crazy. You Smacks one away, blocks two attacks, right hook, and then turns back around to then smack this Shikari into a block and cuts bro's arm off, Ooh. bopping him away. Look at the stance he's holding too, refusing to make eye contact. You know he feeling himself crazy after that. Yep. The thing is though, it worked. Hey, y'all heard the man, kids getting sturdy, bad bitches in Macy's, and make sure y'all stop those crackheads. So we've now seen what Thor and, 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 and the homeless too. Yo, Captain Planet, what's goody? Yo, anybody who just pulled up to the stream, I appreciate you being here. Not Optic Atomic, what's good, my boy? 
if Loki would have pulled up at Bridgeport, Connecticut, or Detroit, he wouldn't have had to do much. He might have left because there's already too much damage. Damn. Damn. Yo, this video is 24 minutes. What that? What that mean? We're locked in, Jordan. Don't. Yo, bro, don't complain. We're here. Natasha and Clint have We're been here. doing, but Iron Man and Hulk are still a mystery. Well, until now, because we see Tony turn the corner facing the Shatari ship bro, head on, head shooting on. missiles at it, but none of them have any effect. All that caused was for the ship to turn around and start chasing him. Bro saw what was coming towards him and said, oh nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I thought Iron Man was about to put in pain, but nah. It's okay though, because Hawkeye continues to get to work. Tripping the Shatari and a yep. stab to the chest as Black Widow Show mounts some respect. and turns his brain into pudding while Clint gets tackled. But hold on, bro. Rewind the tape. Did y'all see that tackling form? Bro was working for the wrong way. Oh, so he got Natasha speared. Natasha starts using their weapons against them. Look at the clean spin move into a shot as Ooh. Hawkeye kills the linebacker that tackled his ass to the ground. But their teammates are evil because how you gonna leave the two C-tier Avengers to deal with this whole army by themselves? Oh, They're getting overwhelmed. That is until the big dogs pull up to strip mm. these bench warmers of their screen time. Is that what Thor comes in knocking oh. two of them out? Fuck off, gut check. As Thor comes in taking care of there the we go. three, showing these scrubs how it's really done. If there's one thing Cap and Thor know how to do, it's how to make an entrance for sure. Yep. But as you can see from the way Thor is getting oh. up, like he got arthritis, that stab from bro, Loki long hair Thor is my favorite. Bro. Effect on him, dog. You straight? Yeah, I just got stabbed by this giant sword. <laughs> Damn, for real? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have survived it. That nigga capping. Oh, so Steve starts to lay the out scene. the game plan. Wait. And that's when Bruce finally decides to yeah. show up to help out. And in the most badass way, too. Uh -oh, Wait, hold on, Chad. I think this might be the one and only time I feel like. Hold on, let me think before I start chatting. Hold on. I think, yeah, I think this might be the one and only time where the Hulk had a badass moment, bro. MCU Hulk is not it, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's not it. Looks like y'all need my green friend. This was the you know, most baddest shit guy. he did. Bruce looking at her like... Bruce, don't do it. She fed a whole MCU. As they're discussing how Black Widow has been passed around like a Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> basketball, Tony turns the corner with the Shatari ship hot on his heels. That ship is really big as hell and making some very tight turns. Yep. Whoever's driving that is really whipping that hoe. Could give Dom Toretto a run for his money. Bruce starts walking up on the ship and Cap is like, we don't need your weak ass. Get angry. I'm always, I'm always angry. angry. Turning into the Hulk and punching the Shatari Ooh. ship square in its face. But y'all gotta remember, this is before Bruce became the Unincredible Hulk. So yep. that punch was so strong, it caused the entire ship to flip over. Causing Bruce Iron Man Spinal to shoot at it with missiles so it doesn't crush his teammates. There's a reason Thanos' fat ass had to get up and do it himself. The Avengers were really on timing. The Shatari are everywhere, all on the walls. This one taking off his mask and... Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yo, please, put that shit back on. <laughs> this boy is chopped. But this is when it happens. <laughs> the moment that had 10-year-old me and you in yeah. the Yeah, oh wait, Hulk was better. The cameraman and... Yo, Tony even even the actual look, I think... Bro, look at this, bro. 2008. Hold on. 2008. Incredible Hulk. What the hell? I put 20,000 in eight. Bro, look at this. The way he looks is just so badass. Look. Look. He looks cool, bro. Bro, what is this? Go back. Geeking. The camera. What is that? Uh, uh, Y'all, bro, what they do to him, bro? They nerfed him for real. Like, he just actually. Look, bro. This shit ugly hell. Nah, Incredible Hulk is way better. Man, hands showing the core six of the Avengers getting ready to bust some ass. But Loki saw this and you know what he did. He got to Hayden. Look at his face. He's disgusted. Went as far as to even call in more Shatari backup to ruin this moment. The Avengers were already tired and they just got the difficulty up on them. God, please stop giving us your toughest battles. I just wanted to point out how Tony deferred to the GOAT, Steve Rogers. He knows who the big dog is. No, Hawkeye, no, no, on no. Top of those buildings providing Iron cover Man fire. to this you miss day. Any shots, you're weak ass off the squad. We're recruiting Wolverine. Tony, yeah. you got the perimeter. Don't let them get out of Manhattan. If they get in that water, the toxic chemicals might give them a mutation, and that right. makes our life harder. Yep. Dory, you got lightning powers and use that shit like once. Get to spamming. Plug up that portal. Natasha, all you got is kung fu and two starter pistols. Stay on the ground and help me box them up. And Hulk? <laughs> Smash. Smash. Yeah. So now that everybody got their assignments like they back in school, they start executing. 
Hulk jumps up, smashing this guy, and continues to give yeah. New York City residents new windows in their apartments that they Yo, jumps up, smashing this guy, Boom. and continues to give New York City residents new windows Dead. in their apartments that they did not ask for. Jumping over to the other building, one shotting bro right here, and grabbing another Shatari, throwing what him through the window. What Hulk is then able to what? Yo, tell what happened to him? What happened? This is the type of aggression that I need, bro. What happened to him, bro? This was beautiful. Residents what the fuck? Two windows in their apartments that they did not ask for. Jumping over to the other building. One shot That's the right Hulk here, I grabbing want. Grabbing another Shatari, throwing him through the window. Hulk is then able to read the Shatari army's moves like a book with mostly pictures. Jumping up in the middle of the Shatari fleet, slapping them off their course. And while Hulk is walling, Thor goes on top of the Chrysler building to do his job. Summoning lightning using Mjolnir, aiming it at the portal, and just starts eviscerating anything that's trying to As come he through. Should. Why didn't bro do this before is he not aware of the fact that he's op the he then switch over to the God. tag team duo of the world hawkeye and iron man hawkeye's on top of the building putting in work hitting them with the he -he. oh Magic yeah johnson no look shot oh, yeah. all that hey i saw that clint you still not catching more playing time though <laughs> iron man then calls out to hawkeye for help because he's embarrassingly being chased by a swarm of shatari no wonder ultron was talking crazy all movie he saw the footage of y'all being turned into track stars by cpu enemies had bro thinking y'all was food Hawkeye lines up his bro, shot, shot Ultron, not even bro. actually He's looking, fire. and perfectly hits the aircraft, making it spiral out of control, crashing into the two buildings. As Iron Man hits a step back, blasting bro right here, and then just dips out again. But this right here lets me know that the Shatari are just like us for real. Look at him, smacking the overpass on his way in. Nine in every ten door frames will be smacked as I'm entering a room. Iron Man comes out the tunnel, stopping on a dime, causing them to crash into the building. So realizing that these aircrafts have the turning of Shaquille O'Neal, he enters another tunnel, causing for them to blow up trying to fit through the tight space. So I, after seeing every- So, so he just, look what he did. People are dead. Another tunnel, causing for them they to don't blow care up about trying the city. to fit look. through the tight Ooh. space. So after seeing every building literally getting boomed, naturally the residents are fucking terrified. Between the villains of Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, The Avengers, I swear to God, New York is worse than Gotham at this point. <laughs> Leave my city alone. How comes these aliens never randomly land and invade Idaho or something? They'd probably be so bored, they'd just go back. Hulk decides Shit, they didn't go to all the citizens by running through like a maniac, jumping out onto the Shatari's mouth, pulling it down. But because bro's brain is just straight TV static, he pulls the Shatari ship back into the building and nearly slices everyone in half it's so funny to me the avengers will do some bullshit like this and then wanted to look at bro like he was tweaking when he asked them to sign the accords black widow weaves out the way grabbing the shikari melting his oh, human sized brain and shooting him with his own gun shorty been fighting for like 13 hours straight she got ptsd almost Good. committed friendly fire on her man Good. no ceiling fans for her she'll dead start show, blasting it thinking it's show a helicopter. some respect yes i took out like three of them Oh. Yeah, I could tell based on the 113 of them that are left. Captain America decides to just send her on a side mission to get the Tesseract, using his shield to give her that LeBron James vertical hitching a ride from the Shatari. Oh, damn. Natasha's that was actually crazy. Life, trying to not get clipped by fall damage. So with CGI produced on the Game Boy in the background, she climbs up, cutting him loose and kicks bro off. And before the driver could put this bitch in autopilot to get back for his mans, Black Widow jumps on his back, using him as a steering wheel to get herself to Stark Tower where the Tesseract is at. While she's posted up on his back in the Spider-Man sitting pose, more of the Shatari starts shooting at her, but Iron Man comes through blasting him and then bulldozes over two more, pulling up on Cap in his 1v50. As Cap crushes one, kicks another one away, and they do a tag team duo combo Ooh, attack to eliminate the rest. Fire. We ended up seeing this frame again at another point later on, but that was under completely different circumstances. Hey, Tony. I agree with that 1000%. Nobody can be Wolverine other than Hugh Jackman. That is a beautiful statement. A thousand percent agree. Was right? getting his ass Nobody can play him but him. Murdered it. He was mad about it. Iron Man dips out shooting one and just throwing three more of the Shatari off the building as Hawkeye domes bro right Damn. here. Damn. Oh, cool. Hawkeye peeps three of the Shatari heading over to MSG to go teach Julius Randle a good jump shot for him. Oh my God, Bryson, welcome. He can't have all that. Sniping them out the air, making them crash into their own ship. As the cameraman pans to another tag team duo occurring in Hulk and Thor, the two strongest and dumbest Avengers. Hi. Absolutely no technique, no dodging, no game plan with their attacks. Hey. Just straight boot strength hey, Thor. to destroy shit. This ain't that Thor's world. Hulk rips off a piece of the Shatari ship, stabbing it for Thor to then use his lightning, causing Ooh. for the entire thing to just short circuit 
and crash right smack in the middle of Grand Central Terminal. Even though they just worked together, Hulk is still pissed at Thor for embarrassing what him in front of the rest of the squad in that county. Who gonna get that out? Getting all the way to six, so you know he had to get his get back real quick. After like five hours of straight terror, the army finally decides to show up and it couldn't be in any more perfect timing because there's a giant hostage situation going on and bro's got a bomb. Cap knows this isn't something he could leave for regular humans to solve though. All of the poor victims in there will be turned into ground beef if he doesn't handle it himself. So he kills the Shatari and dips out to go save the hostages. They're on like the fifth floor, but somehow he just jumps through the window and beams bro who was holding Damn. the floor. He manages to duck to out the way of their shots as the bomb is ticking, so he knows he's on a time crunch, kicking the table at them, knocking them off their feet as he runs over and starts piecing bro up to then just throw his Holy ass shit. off the balcony. The other one comes from behind and starts choking Steve trying to rip his mask off. He's getting back for his mans who Steve beamed in the face Whoa, earlier. That hit knocked that was him. that Team Wolf? Holy. Rip his mask off. He's getting... Hey, what? Oh, man. Did anybody watch this show? I remember watching this shit when I was like... Bro, 14 or 15 or something like that. This was a good show back then. Getting back for his man. So Hell yeah, that shit's fire. That hit knocked that helmet off this man. And fuck, yo. It's clear he ain't got a cut in weeks. Oh, hell no. Nah. That shit backfired Ooh. because my son Cap was not finna be caught lacking. His shit crisp. Tight but shit. Dumb and Dumber over here just end up doing all the work for Captain America. Because bro starts blasting and Steve just uses his own friend as a shield. At this point, the bomb is only a couple seconds away from detonating, and they both know that. So the Shatari picks it up and throws it as Steve hits his clean move to block it and get his ribs looking like SpongeBob's fingers. My only question is, how big was that explosion? Because did he really save them right there, or did they get done like the Saiyans? Black Widow no, still uses a right? as a steering wheel, and he's just letting her, not even trying to fight back. Bro, yeah, I, I didn't watch the movie you know either. You just like having her on you, yeah. Loki's on her ass bad. trying to stop her from getting to the test rack. Of course, he's picking on somebody with his own power level. She then calls out to Hawkeye for help who's camping up top and he lines up the shot and Loki thought he was so badass catching that arrow. Boom! Ooh, got his ass! Getting his shit wound, <laughs> landing on top of Stark Tower. Again. And as if that wasn't embarrassing enough, as he's laid out on the ground, Hulk pulls up and decks him into the wall. Shaking my Damn. head. This is what he gets for going after Hulk Stott. You never mess with a man's favorite eater. Tight shit. You beast. I would never be defeated. Well, actually, I kind of be getting oh, fucked up on the low. Number two of the of the badass things he's he's done. This is number two right here. But at least I would never be disrespectful. Shit, show well, actually, people kind of be talking to me all types of crazy. Hulk grabs bro and just starts ragdolling him, putting Loki shaped holes there in the ground. There we go. You could tell by the look on his face, Hulk think he the shit, probably thinking to himself, Hulk destroy Loki puny muscles with big. Walking away, leaving Loki there frozen, he's too stunned to even move. Black Widow finally arrives to the Tesseract, and I don't know how both her ACLs aren't torn from that high ass fall. D Rose about to throw the bag at her to get those kneecaps. So she starts asking bro right here how to turn off the machine, and while she's doing that, we see Thor taking care of more Shatari goons as another ship just slices the entire building in half in an attempt to eat Thor. I really just can't get over the fact of how much damage is being done to the city right now. The crazy part right, is Captain these motherfuckers Planet, have a good one. probably still sent us to school the next day. So Iron Man pulls up with some weak ass lasers, but at this point he's pretty aware of the fact that it's kind of impenetrable from the outside. So he uses his thigh missiles to fly through the mouth of the Shatari ship, blowing it up from the inside. Sorry, shit. I guess he didn't consider the harm it do to himself or didn't care because the explosion got him looking like a Metro Boomin album cover. Going oh, crashing shit. into the bus station, the taxi, and then eating straight dirt. And they didn't even give bro a chance. The second he tried to stand up, they just blasted him right back down to the ground. While Tony's on his way to being stripped down and turned into a laptop, Hawkeye uses his last arrow, so he just smacks Burrow across the face and sparks him out of the building. But when he turns around, he sees that an entire Shatari fleet is coming right after him. Clearly, the Shatari leader didn't do his scouting beforehand. You don't need to send that many for Hawkeye, bruh. They start shooting at him, so with Nintendo 64 explosion graphics in the background, he jumps off the roof. And while in midair, oh, he's able to turn around and shoot a grappling arrow at the building to yeah. swing inside and survive. So that's Iron Man, Captain America, and now Hawkeye, who's basically <laughs> out for the count. They are very low on fumes. But Hulk, he's still putting that work, sunning these boys. Yeah, this, like is, this is playground. Strongest in the Avengers for a reason. Hello, motherfucker. What the 
fuck. They start emptying the mag into bro, and I'm sitting here thinking, well, at least they're gonna have to reload at some point, but they just keep spraying and Infinite doesn't stop. Ammo. Shield headquarters, we're getting shit on out there. Yeah, y'all are. What's the game plan, boss? Who's still okay to fight? Thor and Black Widow seem to be fine, boss. Oh, I bet. Thor's straight. Okay, we might be good. And Black Widow, boss. Nigga, stop telling me about shit that don't matter. So while Nick Fury is trying to explain to Shield headquarters that Natasha is not a needle mover, the Shatari are telling Iron Man to fight back. Straight cooking this man. Tony at this point has specialized the art of being jumped. He manages to blast three of them and dip out of there. And while he's in the middle of healing from that straight ass whooping he was catching, we see Thor and Captain America fighting for their lives, swinging straight haymakers as Cap gets shot right in his 18 pack. Oof. Steve's on the ground where he's straight food, can't defend himself, so they start blasting at him. But Thor has his back. Using Hold on, you said 69 viewers? Listen to me. Nobody leaves, bro. And nobody come in, bro. I'm about to privatize my, 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 my stream. Yo. Nobody leave, nobody comes in, right? Car as a bowling ball to get a strike on all the horde of enemies. Thor then walks over to help Steve's old ass up. You straight? Yeah, I'm good. I eat those, nigga. And out of everybody in the Avengers, it's Natasha who, with the help of this old dude, figures out how to close the portal and stop the Shatari army. But the World Council already decided that New York City was beyond saving at this point. First the accents, now the army of aliens. It was time for the whole place as a whole to just go, shooting off a nuke a to nuke, delete it dude. off the server. Tony, they hating and about a nuke us because we make the best drill music. Grok, grok, boom. Yeah, I'm seeing it right here. This is for Bob Spook. So Iron Man, being the goat that he is, puts the missile on his back, redirecting it through the city and out through the portal. As he to should. To all the people who thought it was grits and started admitting shit to their loved ones, it just got mad awkward. Tony takes it into space where it blows up all their ops and Iron Man passes Sheesh. out. The Avengers are just watching him barreling down <laughs> to certain doom and it's Hulk who jumps up and catches him bringing him down to safety. He's on the ground and he's just unresponsive. Wow, he just so destroyed the, Avengers the whole are building. over him just thinking to themselves whether they're going to wear the Balenciaga or the Dior suit for this funeral, which they were clearly able to decide on in Endgame. Yep. The Hulk screams in his face they had and mad his breath was so side. bad it brought Tony back to life. And everything is okay, except for the millions of innocent people that died and everybody who's homeless now. Yup, yup. The entirety of New York City is gone. Damn. Damn, man. It's just... Yo, the MCU has so much potential. It, 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 ah, like, every movie was... was, I guess at the time, was perfect. If you, like, rewatch it, obviously there are things that they missed or could have done better. But at the time when you watched them, it was a banger. It was a banger, you feel me? So, but now it was like, damn, and just like re-watching it. How did they go from this to whatever they got going on now? Except for Guardians of the Galaxy. They cooked on that one. And they cooked on Spider-Man. Not gonna lie. And they better they better keep cooking, bro. For real. Anyways, but shout out to Blank Boy. Amazing video. W video. Oh, uh, yeah.